What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Jake and today for the next part of Becoming Star Lord, um, I'll be doing a suit up so I can talk to you guys about the various parts and pieces of Star Lord's costume. So starting off with the base layer, the pants are from a cosplay website. I believe they're off of a website called Sim Cosplay. I don't really recommend them because their sizing chart was really off and even though I measured it to my exact size, they were still massive and I had to hem them massively to fit me. Uh, the shirt is from Amazon, this is a great shirt, it's got the, the logo, uh, it was only about 30 bucks on Amazon, so I definitely recommend that. Um, so yeah, one more reason that I don't recommend these pants is because the snap broke, so now they don't really snap up, but it's fine because it gets hidden by the belt, so it doesn't really matter. So the boots are actually two parts. They're the, the shoes themselves, and then there's sort of like a boot cover that makes it look like uh, the boots are kind of one piece. So these are the shoes themselves. They're just like a, they're Skechers kind of loafer. Kind of see there, kind of pattern and whatnot. And then these are the covers that I built out of foam. You can buy these, but I don't know. I always try and make stuff first before I uh, go and buy something. So yeah, there are those, there's the shoes. So putting these on, um, there are three buckles on the shins. Let me just put the shoes on first. So there are three buckles on the shoes, or on the shins. And essentially, you just kind of unbuckle it. This one's actually the right shin. Although it doesn't really matter, they, they can be interchanged. You basically just buckle, basically just buckle each one up. And then you get the shoe. All done. And there we go. On the other side. There you have it already. We basically have Star-Lord's lower body done. So moving on to the belt, um, this one was also built by me. Uh, you can actually see the backside of this one is just kind of, here I'll back up a little bit so you can kind of see the full thing. There you go. Um, this one was built by me, as you can see by that very <laughs> bright underside. I'll also be talking about how I built this in the tutorial series. So, yeah, so basically I just attached some Velcro to the back and kind of just fits onto there. Now, the next part of it, uh, of the belt, is the holsters. So these are what the guns attach to. Uh, I haven't attached the holsters themselves yet. I will also be going over how to do that. Uh, I'll basically be using Chicago screws to hold these in place, or to hold the, the gun holders in place. And so basically I have a Velcro tab. Here, that I'll show you guys real quick. So I put a little Velcro tab onto the holster itself and I put a little Velcro tab onto the belt. So that kind of just fits. It kind of just attaches right there. And there you go. Holsters are now on. Uh, I do want to find a way to attach these holsters to the pants themselves. I might just use a Velcro tab. The only thing is when you're walking, sometimes it could kind of, you know, just move around a bit. Uh, but I would love to have them so that they kind of stay attached. So, one of the most important pieces of a Star Lord costume is his Walkman. So, this one was 3D printed by me, uh, and then painted. And these headphones you can actually buy online. Um, I think I'm going to try and 3D print off. Some people have made a model of the actual 
um, of the actual headphones themselves. So I may print those off at some point. Um, I'll go over that in the tutorial for the Walkman. But yeah, and basically I got a, a clip for a phone. So you can see that there, that clip on the back. It's for like, it's like a phone case clip. And I kind of stretched it out on the, um, on the Y axis. So it's wider and uh, so it can uh, kind of clip onto the belt. And so basically what I do is I just kind of clip that onto there. And then you can either, you can do a couple looks with this. Now I'm gonna start talking about the really fun part about Star-Lord's costume, which is uh, how you wear it. There are dozens of different looks you can wear uh, based off of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 promotional art. I believe he wears them this way with the long coat in Volume 2, um, but when he's wearing the short coat, he wears them kind of just around like that, so you can do that as well. There's a whole bunch of different looks you can do for Star-Lord. The next part is the pendant. So this is Star-Lord's pendant. This one I actually resin printed off, so you can see it's really nice and smooth. I still gotta weather it. Um, he has two pendants in volume two. Um, kinda see some of that detail. He has two pendants in volume two. I have not printed off the other one. I basically just use some scrap leather to make a strap. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy some better leather. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. Uh, I'll probably be making the other one maybe after I film this video even. So now that we are all done with this sort of base layer, I guess you could say, uh, this is actually a look that he wears in the movie. In volume two, when they're on uh, Ego's ship, Star-Lord is just wearing his, his clothes like this, no jacket on, and it's just this layer. So this alone works as a Star-Lord cosplay. So if you don't really have the budget for a jacket or you know, you're still working on it, you could still wear this out. Uh, not everyone will know who you are uh, or who you're supposed to be, uh, but it still works. It's a look from that movie. So yeah. Moving on to probably the most iconic part of Star-Lord is the jacket. Um, so yeah, there we go. This is actually not the most accurate jacket you can get. Moving in for a bit of a close up here, you can see jacket. Uh, this one is fully leather, uh, which is not the most accurate to the movie because they used um, like a screen printed uh, fabric for some of the parts. There are parts of it like this part here is leather, but then like this area here that goes and also that goes under the arm should be uh, like a screen printed fabric. I have also seen Cordura jackets. Those also look really good too. So I may be upgrading to one of those in the future. I do also want to make Star-Lord's long coat version from volume two. So uh, we'll see which happens first. So moving on to the finishing touches. Uh, this is Star-Lord's blaster, of course. Uh, I only have one at the moment because uh, I'm still working on the other one. Um, but yeah, here it is. Here's a little close up. You can see that kind of metallic finish. There we go. Yeah, and all the details and also the carbon fiber handle. That's a very important part into making Star Wars guns. So once I get the holsters done, um, felt a little crooked, then those will slot right here and they will kind of just sit on my hip like so. And you can see that, there we go. It's gonna be awesome. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, we have Star-Lord's helmet. Um, this was such a fun project. The model, as I said in my previous video, the model is by Joe Props 3D on Instagram. Uh, and it was such a treat to build to see this thing come together. Um, this is probably the most accurate 3D model you can find on the internet. And he, Joe Props is just a fantastic guy to work with. I highly, highly recommend you get your Star-Lord helmet from him, or the model, at least. He doesn't sell physical prints, uh, 3D prints. You will have to 3D print his model yourself, uh, but it is very much worth it. 
Like this is just such a gorgeous model. Gonna show some close-ups here. There we go. All right. Yeah. So putting this thing on, let me just fix some wires. I do still have to figure out the inside of this helmet. It's not completely done, but here it is. And there you have it. Ooh, the tab didn't fall yet. There you go. And you can kind of poof your hair up a little bit and grab the blaster. There we go. And now you're ready to guard the galaxy. This build was a lot of fun and I'm excited to keep documenting this process uh, so that you guys can hopefully build a pretty accurate Star-Lord costume as well. Thank you guys for watching.